short, Charman, the power. It's a bad miss, two minutes from quarter time to the midfield. Briscatelli. Oh, terrible turnover. Oh, numbers three. That's Easy. a great kick. And Dixon will line up for about 35, and speaking of accurate kicks, Ben Dixon, who's now 10th on the all time Hawthorne goal kickers list, he's had an outstanding career. 271 goals from his 198 games now, so 200 on the horizon for Ben Dixon. And he can go back and kick this much needed one in the shadows of quarter time. Two goals won last week. 13 9 for the season. From 45, he likes it off the boot. He saluted the minute ago with that sweet, slick kiss, and he's kicked the goal. Again, that was brought up brought about by pressure. Now, we see this kick here into the middle of the ground cell, but he just felt the pressure of the defensive work of the Hawthorne forward line, forced him to turn it over. It was a good kick by Franklin, because that, that was the only player inside forward 50, it was Ben Dixon. Now, it wasn't that he didn't need to be a great kick to actually find his opponent, but he didn't blaze away. He just thought his way through it, and there was nothing really else on. He was far too far to have a shot. But again, the pressure of the Hawthorne forwards, I'd be pretty happy with that. This is his 13th year at the club, Ben Dixon, and that was a vital goal. 3-4, 22 plays 14, 1 minute 15 from quarter time. Little handball from Gillam, still under pressure, the Hawks, Crowe, Gillam, Brown, Crawford. And he's having a very good first term, possession number 5 for him, but it finds Birchall. They can build up. They might be time for another one for the Hawks. Mitchell sends it long. Franklin's on the move. He's got it. He knows he's just outside of range. Moves his way back inside. McLean tucked into the pocket. Centering kick. Dixon beaten for it by Moody, who punches it through. Big job for Matthew Moody. Big job. That was a great pickup from McLean. Just the uh, handball didn't quite hit the target. But great to see Franklin play on. Crawford, T. Oh. Young, a deft deflection, and one of the goals of the afternoon. The Hawks are back. The, Haw the Hawks are well and truly back, and they are playing a very exciting brand of football. When they get in space, they've got the players with the ability to hit the targets, but also the intensity that they have around the ball and the contested possessions is fantastic. A bad error from Matthew Moody kicking out and as I touched on before it's been one of the strengths of the Brisbane Lions from their kickouts. Matthew Moody isn't one of the designated kickers so they might change that. We're talking about Matthew Moody with a big job. Well he had a big job kicking in and he turned it over and it's one point the difference. 24 seconds from time. Ball up. Lappin tries to take it away. Hodge, caught. They'd like to get a shot goal, but they don't want to concede one. Notting. Well, that's in dangerously to Birchill. Bateman to Hodge. And now Lewis. A good kick Five here. seconds. He needs a quick kick. He needs a mark. Short pass. Got it. He's got Boyle with a second on the clock. That is fantastic. You, you called Ladson dangerous. It was dangerous, but it was uh, exciting and offensive. And uh, they're playing that sort of brand of football, both teams. And uh, this would be fantastic. After the first shot on goal, he pushed the right. Wonder where he's going to put this one. <laughs> As he's a very good kick for goal. He said offensive. I think it'll be offensive for Lee Matthews if the Brisbane Lions concede the lead at the first change. This. For a five-point break at quarter time for the Hawks, it's coming back. That's gorgeous. The Hawks in front by five points after being outplayed for the first 15 minutes of the term. This could be a finalist prelude. These two teams could be back here in September. And it's the Hawks who lead 4-3-27 to the Brisbane Lions 3-4-22. Call up to start this second term. Charman takes it out of the air. Handball misses power, but put him in 